Is it going? Hey guys, my name is James. Uh, so this is the fourth time that I've taken uh, an assembled uh, Mark III S Plus and got it going. So I thought I would just do a, like an unboxing and quickly, as fast as possible, get you up and running without looking at the instructions, which who wants to do that anyways? But anyways, take it for whatever, for whatever it's worth. Uh, there's a couple things I've learned after doing this four times now. So you're gonna um, obviously unbox this here, get it open. Yes, that's the most important thing, right? As gummy bears, and then you have your little test here, which is really cool that they care enough to put it through its paces. I know there's a bunch of calibration kind of steps that you can do. I figured, hey, they've already run a test print on this thing. Like, I wanted to see, like, do I have to calibrate? I, I, I haven't been calibrating. Uh, just the Z, you know, the, just the Z adjustment level is all I've had to yeah, calibrate. I don't, also I don't go through the, the wizard, okay? So here it is, it's all assembled, it's ready to go. It's got that test print, it's beautiful. Look at that, so I'm just gonna set it right here for now. Yeah, and then you have to okay. take that yeah, off. Yeah, be quiet, okay, I'm on the video right now. Okay, so then in this box you have some accessories, and then there's usually one more box, and it's your test roll of filament, okay? So, um, all you really need out of here to get started as fast as possible is the power source. And then you probably will want to do the, the spool holder. Now this spool holder I found to be very, very tricky to get together, like even after doing it a couple times. So by, I, I, now I know what the trick is. I'm gonna show you how it goes. So um, basically you have this thing here and it's gonna, these two pieces are gonna come in like that and it's gonna end up looking like that one there, you can hold two rolls. So I was trying to get this in here and trying to time it just right. Basically the trick is, I was trying to, you know, trying to do them together and basically the, what the trick is, is put the one in and just turn that tight, okay? And then put the other one in and turn it tight. That's all there is to it. So then that comes right here and it gets mounted right there in the middle, okay? now. Anybody can see that there are uh, zip ties here, right? That need to be taken off. And there's one right here that needs to be taken off as well. Anybody can see that. Um, at this point, and then you can also like lift this up a little bit, hopefully. Um, And this may be the wrong, I don't know, this might be the wrong way to do it. I'm just trying to get that little, I'm just trying to get this little piece of um, styrofoam out of there, okay? And then you're gonna want to clear the build plate. So go ahead and take that off and pop, pop that off there. And then pop off the rest of that, which is cool. And you could wipe that down with alcohol, rubbing alcohol if you wanted. Um, I'm just gonna put that back on. There's a little, there's a little LED thing you can take off the front if you want. Now, this is where I got caught the first time why I'm making this video actually, is because I started it all up and I did not remove these guys right here. These zip ties underneath, okay? So drop me a comment or a thumbs up if you didn't know about that. So I'm snipping those snipping those because that thing was you know it's trying to start and it was all jammed up and I'm like oh no what's wrong so you gotta you gotta remove those right so that's that's all there that's the rest of the zip ties okay so then you need to uh, get the power going okay so there's the power supply right there so I'm just unwinding this like that and then uh, my power is right here so I'm gonna have to run it up from behind here but you know you get your power however you're gonna get it Dad, you didn't hit the printer right there. Uh-oh. 
Okay. So, there's another power slot there. And then I'm going to find it in the back here and plug it in. Okay. So it should be all plugged in. Now there's just a little bit of filament left over from when they tested it. There's a switch in the back here. And there we go. <clears throat> oh, yeah, you have to do so. What so, this says. I pick English because I speak English. It says, hey, I'm your new printer. Would you like me to guide you? You can go through this if you want. Uh, I just hit no. And then I hit no again. It says you still need to make a Z calibration. We're going to do that right now. There you go. So the first thing I'm going to do is warm this up so I can unload this a little filament here. So unload filament and PLA. Now it's preheating to unload. And while that's heating, I'm actually getting out a new roll of filament right here. Okay. So I'll, just, I'll go ahead and start getting this ready. So that's preheating. So we're getting ready to get that started. We're really close to being done. Um, we're just going to adjust the, the Z, the Z level, and, and then should be good to go. I guess there's an SD card too. So back in your um, back in your box, look through your box here. There'll be an SD card as well that you'll that you'll need. It comes with some. Comes with some files. I'll go ahead and plug it in right here. That's the unload. So I'm gonna go ahead and push the button. Raises up a little bit, and then I just pull that out. Put it in the garbage. Okay, keep it on there. Get nice and slow movements. Okay, what is it? Then we'll do the auto load. So it should be auto loading. Go ahead and show the filament here. So I'm just gonna clip off the little things there, cut it at a little bit of an angle, and then I'm gonna feed it through. Go ahead and show them the spot. I had it right, I was trying to stick it in right here on that nut, but no, you wanna look at that arrow right there. It actually goes in right there. So it should just start to grab it. And then underneath here, uh, you can, underneath you can kind of catch is it grabbing it? There it goes. You can see it there. I'm just kind of. I just want. I just don't want it to really collect on the bed. So I'm just kind of collecting it here. Okay. And then I'm just going to rip the rest of it away. Look at what it says. Is it extruding with the correct color? Yes, it is. It says no SD card. I'm going to go ahead and put my SD card in. Okay. You can pick any one of these files here. Uh, Let's do, let's do the Batman. Now this is, um, I hit enter there and it's gonna heat it up. Now the, 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 Z, the Z thing is off, but it's gonna be, it's gonna be at least like negative 1.2. So you can just like quickly get to, as soon as this changes, after it's done probing, it'll go around and um, then it will enable the Z level adjustment. Okay, so some problem encounters Z leveling and force. Okay, so that's good because if this happens to you, there could be just a little. Basically, you want to make sure that you want to make sure that uh, this build plate is on evenly. So make sure that it's. Calibrating Z.
Maybe I should have gone through the wizard. I don't know. Let's see how it does here. Looks like it's going around. Probing. There it goes, sweet. This got a little bit uh, relaxed. I'm just kind of wind that up a little bit. Okay, so you can see how you can see how it's not sticking very well, how, like you expect. So we need to get into this live adjust Z. So I just I'm on the info screen. I push enter. I go to live adjust Z. All right. Okay. Now I'd want to quickly go negative, right? I want to go to negative one point. This is doing the Batman print. So I'm spinning this as fast as I can now. Like, I have no idea if I'm doing this perfectly, you know, but this is just, you know, my best advice that I know of. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and run this out to like negative 1.25, let's say. Okay, and then I'm just gonna kind of wait for a little bit and just kind of look. And this is where I'm kind of doing live adjust, right? So I'm actually looking at it and saying, okay, how do I have that good smush? Does it kind of kind of does it look right, right? Which is kind of hard to know unless you've been doing this for a while. But <clears throat> um, you know, if it has indications of being too loose or too tight, um, and then you just kind of have to let it sit here. And I, I'm I'm fully expecting to have to pull this print off of here and restart it. But this is just kind of my testing to get it going. But you know, like that. that like if I just looking at the lines there, I mean, it's not looking too bad, All right? You can see it's, it's it's laying down, it's sticking. The lines are close, close to each other. <clears throat> so if I wanted to, I could stop this print. Let's just say that's okay. I could maybe tweak it from here. Let's go back to here now. <clears throat> Let's go back here, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop this print. Okay, and hit yes. So it's gonna stop. And I'm just gonna look at where it did. Okay, so you can kinda tell like uh, it still looks a little loose to me. So I might I might I might make it a little bit more negative. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is lift this off of here. And I'm gonna clean this off of the build plate. And we're gonna start this one over. Um, I have a little thing here on the trickier ones. I try not to use metal on this, but just, just to catch an edge like that. Sometimes I will. Okay. And then I'm starting to see a little bit of stuff on, on, on the plate here. So I might take, uh, I might take a little bit of rubbing alcohol like this here and, um, and take a paper towel. Okay, I'm just gonna put a little bit of uh, rubbing alcohol on this paper towel right here. Uh, you can use different percentages. I just have whatever I had in my thing. So I'm just, I'm just kind of wiping this down. Get any fingerprints off of here, any oils. Okay. And then let's put this build plate back on and then let's start that print again print from SD let's do Batman now I already know oh, I don't know what I just picked uh, I'm gonna stop that real quick okay and then I'm gonna print from SD and Batman okay there we go okay so I already know that I it looks like a little bit loose uh, and so I'm gonna tighten it up a little bit Okay, so the bed's heating, the nozzle's heating. I didn't see any videos like this, that's why I thought to make one. Let me know if this has been valuable or helpful, that'd be great.
Okay, looks like we're up to temperature here. Should go around and probe again. We should be getting our live Z adjustment once we, once it lets us adjust again. Like I said, I think I'm gonna go a little bit more negative because I think those lines were a little bit, uh, they were a little bit far apart from each other. But at least now you should, it should immediately start to stick and you should see that Batman, um, you know, symbol. Look at this here. That's gonna switch to live adjust Z. Okay, and we wanna go even more negative. Let's go negative three. Okay, let's see how that's looking there. So everything's sticking, looking a lot cleaner this time. Okay, that outermost one, that was like the brim or like the, yeah, that was like the kind of the, yeah, the brim thing. I was gonna say that does not look like the, the Batman symbol. Okay. So it's kind of going around. So I think, yeah, negative 1.2, negative 1.3, those, that's a good place to start, you know? And then from there, depending on your machine, you know, kind of do the live adjustment and just kind of watch those layer lines go down. Try to keep it still. So, I mean, I think that's looking really good. But what do I know? I mean, as far as I can tell, that it looks it looks pretty good, you know. So that that's that. I ended up at negative one point three. Um, thanks so much for tuning in. Hope this reaches you and finds you well. Uh, let me know if, what you learned, and uh, maybe I'll see you in the next video. Take care.